What's up guys, it's Kevin back again with a quick new video just showing you guys what I've been doing and what I've been working on now. The car I'm about to show you is a 2000 Honda Civic and the story behind it is the guy had it up for $800 and <clears throat> he had it in the post that it had a weird idle. So, you know, of course with it being a Civic, they're common with the um, getting carbon build up on the um, idle air control uh, sensor or I auto air control valve and uh, usually all you gotta do is clean it off so I was like oh, what the hell I'll go look at it so this the car is not in great shape like I said he was asking um, what was it $800 for the car so I get over there I start looking at it and he's he's got all this stuff on the post like oh we just changed the motor we just changed the transmission <clears throat> and when the mechanic gave it back to me it was idling weird and he couldn't figure out what was going on with it so <clears throat> i was looking at the car as he was he went inside to use the bathroom or something i was looking at the car he came back out and i just started looking around and i was like this does not because i cleaned all this this shit was all caked up so it didn't look like anybody had changed anything but <clears throat> right here is actually a vim plate this vim plate is the exact same VIN number as the car so when he came back out <clears throat> I looked at him square in the eye and I said dude there's two things going on either you're trying to bullshit me or your mechanic is bullshitting you and then I explained about the vans and he was like oh you're right so we started it up and it was island really really bad but right here um, of course right by the valve cover the valves was just going crazy there was clack a clack I mean ticking not like a normal tick that a car would have but it was like a crazy tick so <clears throat> I wound up talking the guy down to 200 bucks on it it's got a clean and clear title it did run it didn't sound like it was a knock or anything so what I did was got it back home and took the valve cover off and started doing the procedure of um, checking the lash on, on the uh, the valves they were so far off somebody had to adjust them and they did a horrible job i mean some of them was you know triple what they were supposed to be when it comes to the gap but um still for you know 200 bucks not bad the interior is in pretty good shape it's got 229,000 miles on it now when i was working on the valves and everything i had to take the um Tom and cover off and it looked like somebody had just changed the water pump and all that but This thing starts runs perfect of course the EX model So it's got the uh, the sunroof the AC blows super cold um, There's still a little bit of valve tap there, but I was like screw it, you know, it could be just you know something that I, I fucked up when I was in there but it runs a thousand times better than it did so for 200 bucks it's not uh, <clears throat> not that bad of a car I drove it for probably 20 minutes uh, seems to shift kind of funny sometimes <clears throat> but overall it does shift good so I'm not really too much worried about the um, the transmission on it the engine is the most important thing and like I said it's a uh, it's really clean now after cleaning it <clears throat> I can't tell any leaks I know that the distributor looks like it's new Tom belts new uh, the alternator belt is new so yeah 200 bucks and the good thing about it is the is to do the to do the lash on that it doesn't cost anything all you need is a filler gauge so <clears throat> yeah I came out pretty lucky on that but I want to ask you guys a question I'm wanting to maybe start doing a video a week about story time a lot of people ask me crazy questions like <clears throat> what's the worst thing that's ever happened when you bought a car or what's the, what's the worst thing that's ever happened uh, while working on a car or whatever and I was thinking about maybe doing one video a week because right now I'm putting out one video a week and I would like to put, put out more especially considering how many messages I get on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that so let me know if any of you guys would be interested in like maybe Wednesday doing a story time video and then doing my regular video on Sunday um, <clears throat> yeah so that's about it for right now I'll talk to you guys later